Our Father, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Secular versus spiritual. Clearly, we, particularly the West, but the world, <coughs> is in a profoundly secular mode era. There is a balance between secular, practical, and spiritual. Christ fed the 5,000 and the 4,000 loaves and fishes. People were hungry, etc. Spiritual food is spiritual food. You can't serve two masters. So God comes first, which is spiritual, but God encompasses both material and spiritual. My spirit senses around me this secular world, denying God generally, and it appalls me, <laughs> I mean it's just awful, there is a balance, you know, we need to be fed and watered, sheltered, bills paid, obviously. But God comes first. On some late night program last night, some psychologist woman, oh yes, it's all scientific and practical and rational and everything, and faith is just, you know, you can't prove it with, by science. <laughs> well, try the Pilgrim Fathers. 1620, went out on the Mayflower to America and, you know, founded stuff in the greatest adversity. Try, just just pick anyone. Where William Booth founded the Salvation Army. From nothing. Just he and his wife Catherine. Now there are over two and a half, three million people, Salvation, in, in the Salvation Army people in the world. Charles and John Wesley, 15th and 16th sons. <laughs> Look what's come from that. <laughs> so don't tell me that faith is, is, you know, you can't prove it, you can't put your fingers in, in the holes, as old Thomas had to do. <laughs> Absolute cobblers. I love you, my Lord. I am a Christian. I love you, my Lord, with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my strength. 